dear students now so far we have discussed about the uh, seed drills the various design factors parameters and how to design the various components of a seed drill you have seen that seed drill a tractor drawn seed drill has uh, various components for example they have this hopper in which the seed is kept then there is a metering uh, mechanism through which the seed is to be metered and then after that we go back uh, down the line and uh, try to place the seed into the soil and for that we have these shovels or the um, tines or sweeps different types of uh, tines or furrow openers which are employed in this and then we have a covering device which covers the seed after it has been put into the soil. So, we will uh, when we take up the design we in order that uh, you should have some idea about uh, how to design a particular uh, type of seed drill. For that we have taken an example here in this particular lecture which is lecture number 24 in the series and uh, we want that this tractor uh, drawn seed drill should be for a 40 horsepower tractor. Now, let me tell you that uh, most of the tractors which are available in the country uh, maybe about 10 years back were about 35 horsepower or so and now we are talking of 50 horsepower tractors uh, slightly because of the use of rotavator in a bigger way. But then uh, if you design a seed drill for 35 horsepower tractor or a 50 horsepower tra tra tractor I think the number of tines etc will not be that much uh, vary and that is why we have taken a 40 horsepower tractor as take an example of a 40 horsepower tractor because 35 or 30 horsepower and 50 horsepower so on an average about 40 horsepower tractor. Now, we have um, put this uh, class uh, the, um, the session into uh, different parts for example, this is part 1 where we will talk about how do we go into details of the um, power utilization and that what are the steps which should be taken in sequence and then we will see that how um, what are the parameters, what are the equipment, what are the components we design in part 1 and what are the things we design in part 2 and so on and so forth. So, let us uh, follow the um, uh, slides and uh, go ahead about this particular design. Well, the working width it is very important because whether it is seed come fertilizer drill or a seed drill alone you must know what is the working width of the drill this is very important because it will have several requirements. For example, if the tractor you know that the um, tractor has a certain uh, width and that width mostly we take uh, with respect to the uh, wheel trade of the tractor, but then wheel trade is the center to center distance between the wheels of the tractor and here we would like to know what is the maximum working width of a drill or, or a seed come fertilizer can be taken because the, the, the wheel trade is uh, varying from say 48 to 72 inches uh, in the various uh, orders, but then you, you will have to take slightly more than that and uh, finding out as to how much is available, how much maximum you can take as the width of the seed drill. So, for that what we do is we would like to know what is the amount of power that is available with us. Well, you know that the power available for a tractor is about 40 horsepower that we have assumed. So, 40 horsepower tractor is the power, but the power which is available at the drawbar is very important. And uh, in my previous classes I have explained to you that it is not possible to get uh, more than about uh, 60 percent of power from the uh, actual power of the tractor onto the drawbar. And that is why we will then assume this part and it is very reasonable to assume that 60 percent of the power of the tractor is available for this particular job. So, we have assumed here we have assumed here uh, 60 percent of uh, the BHP that the 60 percent of power is available with us and hence we will see that the drawbar power available for this particular tractor of 40 horsepower is about 17.90 kilowatt. Uh, well, we have converted this into kilowatt so that you will be you are very much familiar with the system and that is why we have converted into uh, kilowatt. Now, let us find out the speed. Well, uh, this also is a, a point of consideration uh, on, for, on the part of the designers because uh, we the various type, uh, various uh, speeds which are taken over the years if you go through the literature you will find that is vary between 4 to 5 sometimes 6 kilometer per hour of the seeding speed depending on the, what type of uh, seed is there and what is the um, uh, soil in which the um, uh, uh, seed drill is being operated and what is the size of this. 
So, we have taken uh, for example, in order to give you an idea, we have taken 5 kilometer per hour is the speed of operation. So, with this speed, now we will see how much is the draft available. Now, here we assume that the uh, although the 3 point uh, linkage is the um, connection where drawbar connection where our uh, uh, the seed fertilizer drill is attached. And we will see that this attachment when it is actually in the field is a straight one and we are in a position to find out the draft of that. Although uh, in order to find out uh, the actual draft for 3 point linkage uh, connection is slightly different. But we will then assume that what is the total draft available on the basis of the power available and uh, the uh, speed at which we are uh, going. So, we know that what is the power available and what is the uh, draft with us. So, using this we are in a position to know that this draft is about uh, 1340, uh, 13, uh, 1314 kg, 1314 kg. This is an example. Remember that we are taking an example to tell you as to what are the various aspects of this particular design. So, you must always consider that this is a designer's way of looking at uh, the various parameters and their values. Now, let us, so we have found out uh, the draft. Now, we must know because this is the draft which will be encountered by the total number of uh, the furrow openers which will be there in the seed drill. So, for that we need to know in a particular soil. Now, we have considered here is lateritic sandy loam or uh, silt loam soil and in this case the um, availability of the unit draft uh, from the literature is about uh, point 0.4 kg per centimeter square. This is the value which is already available. Now, depth of operation is 6 centimeters. We have taken 60 millimeter the depth of operation because this uh, you have seen that uh, the the you know, seed should be uh, below the um, soil surface of the um, soil uh, at, um, at reasonable um, depth because you cannot put it very high, you cannot put it very uh, very much uh, above, above and that is why a reasonable value of about uh, six, uh, 6 or 60 millimeter is taken. Now, you, you may recall that we had discussed about the um, furrow openers and the design of the furrow openers and the shape of in which the furrow openers are there. So, if you see that this is the design which we had considered in our earlier uh, design uh, discussions and so from here we will take a clue and then try to find out what will be the number of tines etcetera that we will design. Now, you can see here that T0 is the, uh, is the um, spacing between the furrow openers, T0 is the spacing between the furrow openers. So, this T0 as, as per the drawing given here, you can see that the center to center distance between the two um, uh, sweeps which are uh, shown to you here. And the various values which have already been discussed to you, we have taken that uh, lem, uh, delta is um, about uh, um, 45 degrees and uh, the delta T is 4 centimeters. You can, we are going ahead with 4 centimeters and millimeters. So, please uh, try to understand that either you can take millimeter or centimeter. So, um, you must be careful about these units which we are taking here. So, you have taken in centimeters and V0 is about 4 centimeters. Now, these we had discussed uh, when we uh, I design, uh, designed the, uh, uh, the details of the furrow openers I had discussed and that is why I am uh, just assuming that you will definitely recall and try to take these values. Accordingly, when we put this, we get a value of T0 is equal to 20 centimeters. That means, this T0, the center to center distance between these two uh, will be 20 centimeters. This is one important thing because once you know how much is the distance and what is the draft required. Now, there you will be in a in, uh, in position to know what will be the size of the furrow and how we can find about the total number of furrows that has to be created. So, the theoretical draft on one furrow opener is unit draft into cross sectional area of the furrow. This is very uh, simple, you, you can have a look at uh, this and then you should be able to um, uh, envisage that this unit draft, once we know the unit draft value and the cross sectional area of the furrow, we will be in a position to get the draft on one furrow opener. So, th this is what we have got. Now, cross sectional area is width of furrow into depth by 2. This is very simple from the um, uh, formula which we has been told to earlier and width of furrow is twice a max B0. So, 
the using this then draft on 1 for opener d 0 is given by this because um, you can see 0.4 and this is uh, 16 here. So, um, to depth operation 6 and that divided by 2 hence this comes to from 19.2 kg. Now, this is um, a, uh, a theoretical value which we have got 19.2 kg draft on 1 furrow opener. Now, remember that um, there will be encounters when the seed, um, when the seed drill is moving into the soil. So, we need to have some factor of safety. So, we will take a higher side factor of safety although uh, may not be essential that you can go about one um, uh, say about 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1 1.5, uh, but we have taken uh, two times just to see that uh, where do we land up in the total number of furrow openers that we will be there within the draft capability of the tractor which is going to be used. So, with this factor of safety of 2, we are getting that the actual draft required is about 38.4 kg. Now, this 38.4 kg could you can take this to be a round figure either 40 kg or so. So, about 40 kg taking into consideration the, uh, the, uh, fa uh, the, the factor of safety as well as the, the unit draft of a particular of the particular soil which we have thought of. Now, we will use this not necessarily that we can take 40 kg, we can take 38.4 kg also, but we have taken it uh, I will show you what we are doing. Well, using that, so once you know that this is the draft total draft available from the drawbar and the actual draft on one time is known. So, it is very simple you are in a position to do this now n is 35. Now, you have uh, got a value of the number of total number of uh, furrow openers as 35. Here as an engineer you would like to have some trade off between what should be done. Now, if we go back to what we discussed earlier we said that if there are uh, 35 or say we said that if there are 11 in number then 6 will be at the back and 5 will be in the front like this. So, if we talk of 35, then 35 means there will be 18 at the back and 17 should be in front. Now, you imagine that if this 35 are to be actually at a distance of 20 centimeter, so what is the total width that you are going to get? The total width that you are going to get is a pretty high in number, pretty high in number is it's something around 7 meters or so because the 35 times and then you will multiply by 20 centimeters which is the width. So, you will get about uh, 7 meters or so, but what we have seen that in case of uh, as I said earlier that the width of the um, uh, tractor back width we are talking of 48 uh, to a 76 inches is the field, uh, field trade. Now, if we take that starting point, so we are finding that about 76 or say 80 inches. Uh, roughly this comes to about uh, 200 uh, mm, 200 centimeters or so. Now, then this means that about 2 meters. So, if you take uh, care of the diameter of the wheel on both sides, then roughly you get about 2.4, 2.5 meter. Now, this 2.4, 2.5 meter is the width which will be a width which will, uh, will be utilized, but, but then you see if you put uh, the 7 meters there will be several difficulties. For example, the you need while transportation it has to be folded, then you need to have arrangement for folding and that will add up unnecessary cost. Then if you think that this has uh, uh, it has to be uh, lesser, then uh, the total weight which will be there on that uh, on the track tractor will also be slightly more than that. Then if you are thinking that we should decrease, now how much we should do decrease? So, an idea is that we have heard of um, the different types of tines. We are getting a tine which is about 35 in number on the basis of the draft which is available. And in fact, if you recall I had also talked of that matching of implements to the power source has a greater bearing and is a mystery. Still we are uh, not in a position to match as much possible because you have seen that 60 percent of the power is available of the tractor, but then we are not in a position to put a 35 uh, uh, tine uh, seed drill, seed cum fertilizer drill because of various considerations. So, soil is another consideration in this case. So, we have to think of how to suit the and then headland while rotation while you are taking a turn while uh, turning at the headlands. So, much of uh, downtime of the 
uh, actual work will be there. So, field efficiency will come down. As such, the field efficiency of uh, uh, the drills which we have found over period is varying between 70 75 uh, percent or so. So, if we consider these into picture, we can comfortably say that you can take say a value of about um, 19 or 17 or 15 or 13 number of times. This, this is what you can take 19, uh, 17, uh, 15 or 13. Now, in the present case, we have taken 13 uh, number of uh, times just to give you an example. You can take 15 and get a value, you can take 17 and get a value, you can take 19 and then get a value because then you will have to have 10 in the in back and uh, 9 in the front and accordingly the weeds etcetera you have to see because headland management and the power loss unnecessary over there is very important which you, you should see that uh, the moment you go for very large width uh, the headland management will be difficult and then you will not be in a position to get a high field efficiency of the unit. So, the work output will be reduced. So, you have to have a trade off and in that case that is why you will not get uh, the seed comfort as it is not more than 13 or so. So, we have taken a value 13 to explain you here. Now, so we have taken a value of 13. Now, once we know the value of 13, so by uh, by convention as we explained you earlier in the earlier class that 7 will be at the back and uh, front row will be 6, 6 number of times. So, working width of the seed will then here is roughly we are taking about uh, 2.6 meter because as I said we will take 13 and uh, then the grain box length well this is grain box length you can take a grain box length which is also equal to 2.6 but then uh, what we what is important is we we'll, we look into the values if you if you recall this figure which uh, we had also um, shown you earlier then these two these two um, values need to be considered with respect to the um, uh, wheel. So, while taking uh, into consideration we have found that this value b is generally uh, about 20 to 22 centimeters here we have taken 21 centimeters for uh, example and therefore, the length l b this length of uh, the you can say the length of the seed working length of the box will be about 2.18 meters this is what uh, um, is the uh, justifiable and a trade off between all factors which we have considered. Now, let us go ahead. So, seed rate for which ok. Now, we have taken that what should be the length of this. Now, we will let us talk about the seed rate. Now, seed rate for wheat we will take uh, wheat as the as the uh, crop to be sown and we have already taken 5 kilometer per hour this is seed rate. So, the actual field capacity of the drill will be uh, with speed here the working width and the field efficiency and I said that field efficiency cannot be more than 70 to 75 on the normal basis or on the basis of experience and the literature available over the world people have done. So, we can take uh, com comfortably let us take 0 0.7 and that is how using this we are getting so much hectare 0 0.76 hectare per hour. That means, in one hour 0 0.76 hectare will be uh, the um, covered by this particular disc. Now, in order to design the hopper for such a capacity it is required to refilling the seed for 2 hours. Now, we would like to see whether when we have to put so much per hour it will cover about 0 0.6 hectare. So, in 2 hours it will cover about twice of this. Now, generally we would not like that the filling should be in, uh, either once filled so much then it will continue for 4 hours because then uh, human factor is considered into it because there is a human being who is there on the tractor and definitely he would like to get off for some time and uh, while he is doing the job. And that is why a comfortable value of uh, from all considerations we can take that 2 hours is enough time. So, let us say that for 2 hours he will be in a position to continue and the seed which is there or the fertilizer which is there also will last for 2 hours. So, if you take that into consideration what we get is for 2 hours at this rate we are getting about 190 uh, kg. So, 190 kg we need to put and then this 190 kg has to be there uh, inside the uh, hopper. 
So, what is the volume of this uh, then? Simple we know the weight of this and then using the density of the um, feet we can get that this is the volume. So, this is the volume which we have got of the hopper. So, we know that uh, we need to have see this is the volume, but the moment we are talking of uh, the actual design which will be there we have seen out of our experience and you might have also seen that there has to be a free board. We need to get certain free board and uh, as we discussed in the theory you found that there are certain level which remains uh, not filled and it is also helpful for you. So, we need to take care of that little bit of free board to be added and then which if you add that free board what we get is instead of 237 we are getting a value 0 0.262 uh, meter cube using the 10 percent of uh, extra avoid uh, spillage. So, that there is no spillage and we are in a position to get that. Okay. So, this will be the total volume of the material of the uh, uh, hopper. So, that hopper should be having this material plus certain free board so that spillage does not take place when it is filled up for 2 hours. Okay. So, for proper flow of seed let us assume that uh, trapezoidal section well we had discussed this that uh, trapezoidal section is the one section which is uh, good and it takes care of the angle of response of the material or the seed. Uh, therefore, we have assumed here that the uh, trapezoidal section seed trapezoidal section is, is the one which is uh, selected. So, for a trapezoidal section this is known to you I did not explain uh, again because we have talked of this earlier. And what we assume is we need to have some idea about this because we know the total length, but we must know about the base. And I re remember that in that base what we do put is either the uh, seed plate or the metering uh, shaft which, we, which will have the coru, uh, maybe small uh, um, baffles in case of uh, fertilizer. So, in order to take care of that you need to have about 20-25 um, centimeters the width the base of that particular hopper. So, that is why this one we will assume out of the experience and that is why here we have assumed about 25 centimeter as this. So, this value is about 25 centimeter this value we have assumed 25 centimeters. Now, taking this then we are in a position to get h and b from this uh, just putting those values into this equation which we know we will be in a position to get these values of h and b and therefore, the specification of the seed hopper which we have designed is bottom width is taken as this much, the top width is this, then height is 35.3 and the length is 2.18 meters. Okay. So, th this is the value which of our hopper. Now, if you are thinking of this fertilizer drill a similar um, arrangement and you can take a similar uh, material of construction also for the sea fertilizer drill also. So, I need not explain to you that uh, what will be the size of the fertilizer drill, but then this is the size. So, we can say that specification of seed hopper seed come fertilizer drill hopper that is seed will be one and similar will be another one because they sit side by side if you have seen the uh, drawing or you have seen the machine because I have explained to you in the field. So, then we have got the details of seed hopper. design of seed metering mechanism. Well, here uh, I did not go because just previously my previous lecture was that we had talked of the seed metering mechanism. So, here also we will talk of the seed metering mechanism where we know that the power is taken from the ground field and then the power transmission goes to the seed metering mechanism and the seed metering mechanism you can have at, you know, different types of uh, mechanisms actually which will carry the seed and then put into the seed tube. And we had discussed at length about the fluted roll type which is one which is very much popular. You can take another type also which we have discussed, but then we have discussed about these. Now, so that is why we will take fluted roll type of uh, the mechanism. Um, and here the volume is given by this I think um, all are known to you because dg is the ground field diameter here, the spacing between furrow then SR is the seed rate, the bulk density, the gear ratio in fact, uh, the gear ratio GR here may be that uh, you will find that uh, the other one was uh, bigger uh, capital G, but here is smaller G does not matter. 
but then you can this. So, x is the linear spacing of seed on the ground, this is the linear spacing of seed on the ground. So, using and solving this we get that v ro um, roller is about 40 centimeter cc. Now, number of uh, what will be the number of fluid rollers in the periphery is given by this simple because we know the ratio, we know the spacing that we want. So, we should be in a position to get this on solving we get n f is equal to 13. Now, this is the value which we have get, uh, got and you will find that depending upon the size and the trade off which you want to have and the total size of the uh, seed drill, you can take uh, various values of this uh, number flutes about um, varying from 8 to 12, 13 or so. We have got 13 values, so we will take this as value. I need not explain much here because uh, you have gone, uh, you have understood all these details, uh, details and these are known to you that what is the V here, what is V roller and then the values of course, these values which we have taken are the standard values which we have taken from literature. So, we need not uh, uh, talk to you or uh, describe this very much because those are all known to you. So, only the values which you can just check and find out that these are given to you here. And subsequent the angle which are were is important for this is 27.69. These details are go given over here and this is one which is known to you. So, I need not explain to you here about working volume released by fluid roll in one rotation of this. It just comes as from here. So, using that uh, the same concept now we are now in a position to get the radius of curvature of the flute. This is important. So, using uh, A f here and uh, using the values of A 1, A 2 which uh, you know already explained to you. So, you will be in a position to get the value of R which is the radius of curvature which is of importance to us. So, you will know now that what is the length of the uh, flute and what is the radius of curvature. You know the total diameter of the flute when it is made. So, you will be in a position to find out this. So, as such the specification if you um, uh, get then these are the specifications design tractor per seed come fertilizer drill, seed drill details are given here, the working width, the number of furrow openers, spacing between the furrow openers, total draft requirement. Then the field capacity we have got about 76.76 hectare per hour. Then the seed box, the details of seed box we have already discussed. Well, material of construction we have taken here material of construction to be MS and the thickness etcetera. Please remember that these thickness etcetera are dependent on what is available to you. The seed metering device, well the seed metering device uh, the um, uh, type of seed metering device we have taken is fluted roller then the length of the slot, length of the roller, then the diameter etcetera and radius of curvature which we got earlier is, uh, is given over here. Thank you very much.